Hey guys, my name's Faye and I'm one of the aquarists here at the National Sea Life Centre. Uh, I specialise in our northern sea otters, uh, so behind me here is their exhibit. Uh, these guys are found in the northern Pacific. So our sea otters are rescues uh, and they were only found a couple of days old, uh, so they have been handled by humans. Uh, so unfortunately they couldn't be released back into the wild, uh, so they're here with us at the National Sea Life Centre. As they came all the way from Alaska, which is quite a big journey, uh, so they've been settling in quite nicely. Their names are Bishop and Rainey. Now, sea otters are extremely intelligent animals and what comes with that is big uh, personalities. So Bishop is quite a perfectionist uh, in his training sessions. He's a very well-behaved otter. And this also links in with his favourite thing, which is grooming. So if you notice Bishop, he's a very handsome otter and he's always looking on point. Now, Rooney is a little bit different. Uh, she's a very confident sea otter. Uh, she's not shy at all. She's very used to humans. They have quite a strong bond, uh, so they do choose to spend a lot of time together. Uh, so you'll probably see them swimming around, play fighting, or sometimes they're on top of our pop-up tunnel. So because sea otters are very intelligent animals, uh, they also need a lot of enrichment, uh, which we put into our feeding sessions. Uh, so we actually have around five feeding sessions a day and with this they eat a lot of food. So they actually have to eat about 25% of their body weight every single day. So some of their favourite foods are prawns, squid and razor clam. We also like to give some of their food in ice treats, which is food frozen in ice. Now we do this because it gives them a bit of enrichment. Uh, so they do behaviours such as smashing uh, the ice on rocks or even on their tummies. Uh, this is actually quite a natural behaviour for a sea otter to do. Uh, so in the wild they would actually get rocks and smash crabs with the rocks on their bellies. So our sea otters have a lot of toys that you'll probably see uh, shown in their enclosure. Some of them are boys or spiky toys. Uh, basically anything that can float and they can't destroy easily will give them. Uh, we also put things at the very bottom of the habitat so they can swim down and show how good they are at diving. They can actually hold their breath for up to four minutes. They are a keystone species, so they spend a lot of their time in kelp forests. Uh, and this is because they feed on things like sea urchins. So they control the population of sea urchins, uh, which helps to protect kelp. Now kelp has lots of really important uh, nutrients for fish and the water, but it also absorbs CO2. So that's really important for ecosystems, so that's why we call them a keystone species, because they have a very important role in their ecosystem. Thank you very much for listening about our sea otters. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask a member of staff.